What's up Duelist, it's Nerf here, and I've been winning more often than not in Diamond Division, rank 2 now, and the win streak bonuses are not there anymore in Diamond Division, so it really is just a grind. So it does take a while to get from Diamond Division to S rank, but I've already, I've already made it more than halfway there, I'm now rank 2, and I've been playing this uh let's see i'll get rid of those two i've been playing this line our deck still because it's been doing really really well i've been winning uh probably the majority of my matches um i feel kind of bad that i have to play the same deck for you guys on the stream but this is um been working very well so I'm kind of scared to do anything else but maybe maybe next video I'll try to figure out what a top tier Magmar or Venar deck one of those factions I never really played and see if I can do well at those that was a pretty good start for me but we can kill that right away next turn I'll have four mana just gonna do a little base damage quickly um, maybe I'll actually just do the Arclight Regalia. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna keep this hand, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that was stupid. I don't know why I did the Arclight. He's gonna be able to easily knock it down with spells. That was kind of stupid. I should have played the, um, I should have done Silver Guard Knight Windblade Adept. Whoops. Well, hopefully he doesn't play a bunch of spells this turn. What well, it's kind of weird how the ranking, well they took away the win streaks, but still one win counts the same as one loss, so you don't have to worry about after the big win streak how one loss is the end of the world. Because one win gets right back and one loss cancels only one win. It's not like in scrolls where I would uh Ah, it's gonna destroy that. Yeah, that was bad. Why'd I do that before? I guess we're gonna go with a Tempest. Actually, we don't need to go for a Tempest. She yeah, let's do it. Tempest. And then I will... Kill that. I don't love doing that, but that's the play I'm gonna do. Let's get rid of this. So theoretically, you could ha like have a, only a 51% win rate, but with enough games, you'd end up going from diamond to S rank. It's not like scrolls where when I was in the high rankings, it, it could take up to like five five wins to uh, negate one loss. All right, this is not going too well. Um, we need to do some stuff. We need some provoke soon. I need to hide myself actually. Well, let's heal up a little bit, and let's do some Holy Immolation. I could deal damage there, but I don't feel like I'm really ready to be doing that much damage. I need Provoke. It's already has to be a pretty quick game. Heart Seeker, I can get rid of that with an Arclight Sentinel. Inner Focus, ah, he's going to make that huge, isn't he? Not huge, I guess. Okay, so I can destroy that. Um, I'm pretty happy with that turn. He really didn't have anything to play, I guess. So this turn I can play... I definitely want to kill this, so I'm going to need to use that. Which means I'm not going to have enough mana to play for the Dancing Blades. So I'm going to replace this. I guess I'm just going to fill up my... Uh,
<laughs> I think I'll deal some extra damage right now. So I'll give you extra attack. I'll attack there. Play this. And play this. And since I am protected by my back right now, I will do damage to Gotta worry about that backstab. I mean, he could always just play like a Phoenix Fire or something. Really, it's not hard for him to destroy that 3 health creature, but... He only has 3 cards, which I hope that's not enough for him to win the game this turn. It's gonna be hard for him to survive this coming turn. Oh, that helps him a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't, like... Oof, is he gonna be able to win? 5 attack. Is that game? Yes. He didn't have enough. That was pretty close. Pretty quick, close game. That was only six minutes. Might be, uh... I guess he surrendered, but I was going to win the next turn. Getting closer to rank one. That was very quick. Let's play again. Yeah, I've been gaining a lot of gold because I haven't really been spending it. Because this Lionheart deck seems pretty up to par. But I'll definitely have to use a lot of that golden spirit, um... I want to make a competitive Magmar deck or decks of other factions. I guess my Vitruvian deck is pretty competitive as well. And if anybody uh, wants to play me, just feel free to friend me. Um, I don't know if there's a friend limit, but definitely uh, love to play people. So I'm really not sure, it's hard to get a gauge of like how good I am, because I'm not sure if you could say I'm new to the game because I did play for like a month and a half last year, but I'm, I, I guess I'm not, I shook off all the rust too because I've been playing pretty hardcore the past like week and a half, two weeks. So I'd say I'm a solid player now, been winning a lot. Um, don't love the double double two drops here, but I'm gonna play them if I don't have anything else. But hopefully I get some different two drops with this replace or better three drop than the Saber Spine Tiger. Well, we have two Saber Spine Tigers, so now I just hope he uh, plays something turn one that I can uh, get an effective Saber Spine Tiger on. Well, he doesn't. Um, let's get rid of the Saber Spine. And I guess I'm just gonna play these two. I wish I had uh, my Windblade Adept or uh, Azurite Lions. Is it Azurite Lion? Is that what it's called? Those two drops, like, there are two. Th they're, besides their base stats, they also have, um, like, uh, ability that helps and healing misses ability you just can't take advantage of it um, on the first turn so it always feels a little awkward to be up oh. wow I'm just racking up these wins I guess he had like no play the first two turns and inside two two creatures didn't know those two healing mystics were that scary two wins in nine minutes at this rate we'll be uh, asking in no time let's go again now I'm going first, and I'm playing the Old Abyssy in general. Right? I think so. Oh, this guy's very seasoned. And he's number... Th when it says S rank, when you're S rank, it doesn't just say S rank division. It says a number two. That's the number you're ranked in the world. So he's I'm facing the 33rd um, highest ranked player in Duelist right now. With no play on turn one. Um, let's get rid of those. Yes, turn one play. Nice, nice top deck. So I will definitely play that. Uh, what do I want to replace? Tempest I really need against this this uh, Abyssian General. It spams a lot of creatures, so I need to keep my Tempest. This can destroy a low health creature. Uh, I'll get rid of the Sun Bloom early on. Good luck, have fun. Running away, I guess, because he has no 
That was that with that face man didn't really have a great play. Okay. Um, in that case, I can actually play the uh, idle toss. Um, I'm gonna replace. I really don't want to get rid of the tempest. Like something about getting rid of the tempest. I'm gonna get rid of the Azurite lion. I feel like the Azurite lion is just not that good after the first turn of the game. So. I'll put this, do I grab this mana or before he can? I guess so, even though I'm not using it this turn. These are lines like very good at Solarity. Um, once you get to the middle rounds though, like everything's so bunched up anyways, the extra Solarity it doesn't have that much of a benefit. At least what I've found. Okay, so we had a pretty good start, and he has a semi-slow start, so I don't know if that's going to be enough to beat such a uh, strong player, it seems, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with this. I can just play Roar on this, destroy that, or I could just take three down with my general and do it without the Roar. Um... I'm not going to play this this turn. I could do Arclight Regalia. Arclight would be interesting. Well, I can't afford the Arclight. I can't afford the Arclight and Roar. So if I do that... Hmm. I think I know the play this turn. First of all, I'm going to replace the Healing Mystic. I don't need a lot of healing right now. Because I'm actually not going to take any damage, I don't think. So... Or I could actually do this on this and then... Nah, I like this more. So I'll make you have extra attack. I'll kill you. Move up here. Oh, I will take some damage, actually. And I want extra attack on this, so I guess I'll move all the way up to my general. Just in time. Kind of strangely positioned here, though. <laughs> you can summon a couple Wraithlings. What does this card do? Never seen this before. Nether Summoning. Summon two non-token minions destroys at the end of your last turn nearby. Okay. He gets his own idle toss, which is kind of annoying. But what can you do? Um, actually not in range of killing any of his units this turn. I think it's just going to be an Iron Cliff Guardian then. I guess I'll replace, just because I have no like, Holy Emulations in hand. You always want one of those. I'll get rid of the Arclight Regalia. I think that's going to be... Not too slow right now. Okay, so now we got actually a better play to the a better card to play this turn. He is gonna get a uh Oh no, let's move like this. He will get a tombstone of his own. Spawns right there. Um, I don't know. Do I provoke that or provoke his tombstone? I don't have a. I don't have a divine bond in my hand, so I don't really mind my tombstone taking damage. So I will provoke his creature, and then I guess move down. Okay, playing pretty aggressively here. Next turn I have enough mana to play my Elix Stormblade, which will let my guys move around pretty quickly. But we're already we've already backed uh, backed him into a corner, naughty hamster. So the extra move won't really help. I don't think.
we do have uh, both an Arclight Sentinel and a Tempest in our hand, so it's good just to know your options that can make big plays. Like, I'm not going to be able to do a lot on the first turn it comes out with the Ironclad Guardian or Healing Mystic, but definitely the Arclight Sentinel and Tempest could be game changing plays, as well as my Roar, my Bloodborne spell. Now, Abyssian doesn't have Divine Bound, so I don't have to worry about this becoming a 10-10 right now. I don't know what else he can do with that. Ooh, that guy scares me. Ah, I really wish I had a Sunbloom right now. Sunbloom would be actually perfect. But I don't have one in hand. Um, I guess I just have to lose two units to destroy this. Don't really know what else I can do. Um, well, actually, I can lose one unit if I would use the Arclight Sentinel, so I'm gonna do that rather than rather than lose two, which means I can't play the Elix Stormblade this turn. I'm gonna play this then. Um, in that case, I'm gonna replace my. I will replace my Ironcliff Guardian. I don't know why I'm holding so hard onto the Tempest. Okay, so I guess that's gonna be the play. I don't really know how to position here. Oh wait, I'm provoked. I forgot I was provoked. Uh, two plus two. Wait, oh quick, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, you're provoked too. Crap, crap, crap. Um, screw it. I can't really do a whole lot here. Act with provoked. I, I, I ran out of time there. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Hopefully, that doesn't set me back too much. I guess that's what separates a uh, great player from a good player. I wasn't I wasn't able to like think of all the possibilities in my mind yet. And this guy can destroy a couple things. I just wish I played the Elix Stormblade if that was going to happen. Okay, I guess then he's going to let this one die to kill uh, the Arclight Sentinel, maybe? Or he'll deal 6 damage to my Tombstone. Naughty Camp, there's 5 cards in hand. Minus this, and he's gonna kill that. Uh, he'll trade with that, and then he'll just summon a bunch of great things. Hopefully, they're all on this side of the board. <laughs> yes. Well, if, he has, if he has any death watch stuff now, well, I do have a tempest. I have a tempest, so I can actually take care of a lot of that. I think, yeah, we're gonna be tempest, and more minions. Hopefully, it's not a huge guy. He gets a huge guy. If we had a double, double Tempest right now, that'd be good. Okay. So. Tempest kills... A lot. Uh, I wish I had a double Tempest, though. Let's see. I can play Tempest in this, so I should keep that in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and... Get rid of the Elix right now. Hate to do that, but I really want to like find some more cards. Okay, let's do it. Do I have anything that's gonna die from the Tempest? No, I don't. Okay, so this is another dying wish. I don't have anything to deal with his dying wish. Okay, I can trade there, trade there, kill that. Um, I guess. Let's just hit that. 
spawn over there. Oh, they're not gonna spawn really close here. Oh, I should have actually attacked the Wraith Link. Whoops. Okay, he has a bunch of Wraith Links, but I have a bigger unit. Wish I had a Divine Bond. Or another Tempest. These Wraith Links scare me. Not because they're going to get big, but because this kind of Abyssian deck probably has uh, a lot of Death Watch stuff, and he can make them die pretty quickly by attacking my creatures. Okay. Oh, more Wraithlings, I guess. Let's draw the other Tempest. We only have two Tempests in this deck. I might actually add a third Tempest. Not sure what I'd take out. We can't really effectively kill this Bloodwing Priest with the Dancing Blades either. Because we're like on the other side of the board. Don't think I'm going to win this game. It's definitely pretty exciting. I don't think I've played that much wrong besides that one turn where I ran out of time. Even, even I ran out of time, I still got to play a bunch of stuff. Okay, Tempest come to me. Well, I guess Tempest wouldn't really work because he'd get all that again. I have to kill this. Well, how do I do this then? Um, Saber's Shine Tiger is cool. We want to stay as far away from his Wraith Links as possible. That's the thing. I'm gonna. Get rid of the tiger, I guess. Okay, another guardian. Guardian's good. I think. So... I'm not very close to winning the game. He has a ton of health in his general. Let's... Drawing more wraithlings, or playing more wraithlings now. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Let's play another iron cliff, I guess. And just attack. Come on, straw tempest, or I don't know, holy emulation, something that's gonna really like, be like uh, some kind of spell that can do something. Not looking good. This thing's basically giving me unlimited wraith links, which will tick me down every turn. My creatures. And. Naughty Hamster has a lot of cards in his hand. Not a lot, three cards in his hand, and nine resources to play with. Well. Another one of those. feels like um, I didn't do a lot of bad to be in this position right now. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's the easy kill for him. Like, I, I've been playing, like, solid, I think. Besides that one turn right out of time, even though I didn't run out of time that turn, it would have been, like, it wouldn't, wouldn't have been a perfect turn for me. He doesn't have a death watch thing yet, so I guess I'm still in it because he can't attack with everything. Um, if I play this on this, I'll have five attack, then I have two. I have a total of seven damage. I can put him right now, so I'm actually gonna get rid of the dancing blades. Hopefully, I draw, draw another big, big thing. Holy immolation. Hmm. Sarah Stone Tiger. Wait, do I have lethal? I don't have lethal, right? Five plus four is nine. I could bring you down to pretty low. 
I think I do that play anyways, right? I mean, I run out of cards in hand, which means if I draw top deck another Holy Immolation, like, it wouldn't help. I don't have any Tempest in my deck anymore either, I don't think. Or did I? When you play this card, just go back into the deck, or what? I don't really know. Well, I guess I'm not going to get another opportunity like this to deal a lot of face damage. I'm also going to... Well, you're going to be able to die, actually, either way. Actually, no, you won't. Just do it. Down to three, three health, which knows. Three too many, <laughs> or actually one too many, because I want to be able to win the game with a Tempest on a top deck. Like, I know I don't have a high chance of winning this game, but now nah, it would need two Tempests. The old Tempest where it dealt two damage would actually be enough. Or, I mean, if I top deck another Saber Spine Tiger, but I assume, like, at this point, Naughty Hamster is really going to protect his general. Seeing how it's down to three health. Well, I guess, uh, <laughs> Naughty Hamster definitely has the board control, but I do have fifth, I have 14 points on uh, health on our generals. Gonna move away so he has more room to place things. And what he can't do is a Death Watch thing wouldn't really help him at this point because he doesn't have a, I don't have a lot of creatures on the board for him to. Let his Wraithlings uh, deal damage to you and die. So I guess I'm relatively safe from losing, like, right now. An issue is I don't really have a card in hand that's going to help next turn. I'm just going to have to replace this, this unit. Yeah, he's just moving all his units over right now. Oh, that, that hurts. And that hurts too. Yeah, that's on, that's like that's like the uh, the coffin right there. He he did have a way to heal his general. And this dude, he's crazy. Sunbloom. Um, I don't know what I what I don't know what to do here. I think I just have to end my turn. Yeah, because I could dispel this and save me a bit of health. I think I lose the game regardless next turn. Yeah, I think that's going to be game. Oh well. Yeah, not even top taking anything great. I didn't want to play that just because you really need cards in your hand. Um, because you can only replace one card for one other card in this game. It's like a one for one trade. So, I couldn't really do anything. Is that gonna be game? That's ten. He needs five. Yeah, I think that's game. I don't know why he's bothering moving everything. I'm pretty sure he has the game just by attacking me. Oh no, no, never mind. The uh, so this guy's ability just only happens on minions. It says not generals. So I guess I'll probably survive one more turn. So many, uh, so many of these little buggers that. I'm not going to be able to get close. Like even if I, uh, even if I top take a Tempest next turn, these two guys will fill up with uh, Wraithlings around them. So I should just surrender, but I guess I'll see where this goes. At one point we were close to winning this game. I don't know if it was ever, if it was ever possible even if we drew the perfect draws though. I seem to get a lot of losses because of Dissy and over any other faction. Like, as Lionheart, it seems like I can overwhelm the opponent with my own beefy minions, except for against Abyssian. Down to one health. Can we top deck something good? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Well played.
Rest in peace. So, still got two wins in this video. Which is a still going up by one, two wins, one loss. So, that's okay. And that'll be it for today. So, uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Actually, I've been doing pretty well in Diamond. I'm 8 and 2 in my last 10 games. That's pretty impressive for uh, playing really strong players in the Diamond Division. So thank you for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Duelist videos, and I will see you next time.